What up, what up, what up? Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back, welcome back. Yo, Solo Dolo Scarface. No Manolo. Look, man, uh, this wasn't, this ain't the fight, right? Like, for, for Danny to come all the way from Henderson to, 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 to do this live fight chat. It's, 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 it's Floyd Schofield. He's uh, minus 2,500. And it's a pretty much a showcase fight. And a showcase card right now in the ring. Uh, we have Joshua Garcia, who is obviously the touted to win. And uh, the prospect that Golden Boy is invested in. But he looks a little green. But nonetheless, it's a Thursday night. We don't get boxing on Thursday nights often. So we're here rocking out. You know what I'm saying? I'm rolling up. I got the... What I got? What I got? What I got? What y'all what y'all smoking on, man? Let me see in the chat, man. Tell me what you rolled up. Let me see what I got. What is this? This a flavor pat. That's what it's called. Flavor pack. These names. These names, people. But we are watching the zone. If you don't know, now you know. Um listen. The link is in the description. If you haven't gotten the zone yet, you can still get it. You can still watch the main event with Schofield right now. We got about two fights before uh, Kid Schofield, actually. So, you know, we're here a little early. A little early. And that's okay. We got a little prospect card. We're going to check out what these guys got. And uh, see if there's anyone here worth continuing to uh, follow and and check out their, you know, career. Joshua Garcia looks the part, but that's, you know, from a marketing standpoint. Um, in terms of boxing, I, I, I feel like he's still a little green, you know. Look, he just got caught right there with a back left hook. Just got caught with another sh left hook. Excuse me, that was a back right hook and then a front left hook. But he's, you know, he's getting caught up in this banging instead of winning this fight with his skills. He's boxing with this uh, veteran here, Lorenzo. This is Golden Boy on the zone from Fantasy Springs. Golden Boy's been doing this series for some time now. And you got Berto Duran and Bernard Hopkins calling the action. While TBV and SGTO from Home Studio calling the action for you, in case you don't want to listen to that. You know? Good pressure here by Lorenzo making the young prospect work. So we're going to find out, you know, if he is, uh, in fact, ready. This is a test for him for sure. At first eye, I thought Lorenzo was here to pick up a check. He's got decent skills for a journeyman. And, uh, you know... He's keeping his hands up defensively sound. So it looks like it may be a tough night for Garcia if he doesn't start to put together some punches here. He's starting to drop that left hand, and he's getting very wide with that left hook. But he landed one. He landed one. Oh, Lorenzo digging to the body. This is what I'm saying. This is a four-rounder, so uh, maybe Garcia will be okay. But he's definitely being pushed. But he looks poised as uh, as they give us a close-up. He's not breathing heavy. He's taking more shots than I would want, I'll be honest, you know, as the uh, heavily touted prospect. Oh, another left hand lands across his face. Lorenzo working him to the body. I mean, man, I might, I might have to start looking at this round in particular with uh, scoring eyes because, oh, big right hand by Lorenzo. Well... Okay, he's got Lorenzo on the ropes now, so hopefully he can turn it around. But Lorenzo with the head movement and still just doing work. I wonder, can he keep up this pace? It is the second round. It is the second round. So Lorenzo, and he's bringing the action, and he's digging to that body. Oh, big overhand right. Nice sneaky one. Brought it down on the young Garcia and still digging. He's staying chest to chest with... Uh, Garcia, Lorenzo not giving Garcia any room. Head movement, head movement. Oh, wow. We might have an upset on our hands. Holy shit, bro. Holy shit. Garcia did not know what was going on. I need this guy's first name. Who the hell is... What Lorenzo is this? We got to learn his name. Oh, my. 
Let me see. Let me see what I could do here. Oh man, there's no. I gotta. I gotta get the score. I mean the uh, bout sheet. Then, wow. This kid Lorenzo came to fight, bro. Where we at? Where we at? Let me see. All right, so they didn't send anything new, so I'm going to have to uh, pull up yesterday's weigh-ins. That should have it. All right. Um, this is Joshua Garcia. He is 5-0, three KOs. He's a 130-pound fighter. And Christian Lorenzo, 3-3, three and three, only one KO. Wow. I mean, you know, this is why maybe it's best not to put records on there. I did not see that from Christian, the three and three. He's fighting like he's, uh, you know, undefeated and doesn't want to lose. Good veteran tactic there, holding the glove of Garcia. He got warned by the ref, but too late for that. It served his purpose. He kept Joshua nice and close. I wonder, man. Definitely that last round I'm going to have to give to Joshua. I didn't pay attention enough in the first. I would say possibly, uh, excuse me, I'm going to give the second round to El Nino Lorenzo. And Garcia gets that first round. But Garcia sitting on his punches this time. And he's looking to take full command of this third round. Now we are in the second minute of the third round. We're in timestamp 2.02, 2.01. Two minutes on the clock. Just turn to 159. If you're watching this on YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up button as this is our live stream and the third one of the day. So I would appreciate if you support. It's absolutely free to hit that thumbs up button. Absolutely free to share the show. This is for Hardcore Zony, baby. Let me go through my roll call. Drewski. Shout out to Drewski. Just became a champ. You know what that means? He's going to be joining us for the uh betting show tomorrow morning at 8 30 as we bring you some money you can make and there are some fights shout out to the sniper kddr salute audio is low he says let's raise it what about now my friend is that high enough for you he said background noise my mic is hot what the hell let me look at this nah we golden we golden we golden here, man. We golden. But, um, let's see. That and that. Yeah. All right. So, um, let's see who else we got on the check-in. Caesar. What up, Caesar in Vegas? Will Foster. What up? What up? Jesus, what up? Round three of four. 29 seconds left on the clock. And uh, Lorenzo still bringing the action. Got clipped right there with another left hook and a back right hand as El Nino is now, excuse me, as Joshua Garcia is now starting to use the ring and falling in love with the one, two, three, but definitely having success with that left hook. We got Villy Millie, what up? Alan G, what up? Joshua Cabrera, what up? Jose Cepeda and JoJo, absolutely. That is October 29th, so it may be some overlapping, bro. Truth be told, maybe some overlapping because there's a lot of fights happening that day. So, hopefully we don't overlap and it's all good. But shout out to everybody tuned in, man. Totally appreciate it. Totally appreciate you rocking out with us, man. If you haven't already smashed that thumbs up button, go ahead and do so. It's going to help with the visibility of the show. It's going to help this episode grow. It's going to help this channel grow. You know, this is a hardcore channel, man. Look, I mean, we're, we're literally doing the Floyd Schofield fight. Uh, you know, Schofield, maybe 11-0. Maybe 11 and 0 right now. We can double check just to make sure, but pretty sure Schofield's probably 11 and 0. Most known uh, for allegedly giving Haney some some trouble. 
in uh, sparring and uh, making a lot of noise for allegedly not wanting to sign with PBC because they couldn't get guaranteed dates. Shout out to the interview they did with the boxing voice. Oh, that's right. That's us. So Schofield is 11-0 and with nine KOs. And we'll go ahead and screen share his box track for those that don't know. Now you know. This is Floyd Schofield. He is your main event. He's only 20 years of age, so nice and young and ready to be developed. He's going to be taking on Daniel Rojas. Rojas is a 22 fight victor. Five losses. Four of those coming by KO. So we'll see does Schofield have the power to get the knockout. But it is the fourth and final round. Time stamp is 2.03 on the clock. And if you're tuned in right now, go ahead and smash that thumbs up button. If you don't have the zone, the link is in the description so you can get it. And they know the TBV sent you. Shout out to my man D Styles. Shout out to my brother Ness is what he says. Shout out to you, my brother. Hopefully you are in the building for Chocolatito taking on Juan Estrada. We will be in the building doing a live show, and I'm inviting everybody to come. We're going to be transmitting live from the arena, but we're doing something super-duper special. We got an exclusive collaboration with Stagefront VIP, and that's stagefrontvip.com forward slash the boxing voice to go ahead and join our absolutely free giveaway. You don't have to do anything. There's no money to be given. There's nothing that you have to do other than sign up all right you can win two vip experiences for the estrada versus chocolatico three fight the vip packages include floor seats for all the fights you get to come to the pre-fight party where tbv is going to be transmitting live to the world right there <coughs> so you get to be with the boxing voice obviously you get an opportunity to get yourself some free signed merch Eddie Hearn will be in the building and VIP access to the weigh-in. Winners are announced November 22nd, so tune in, sign up. It's as easy as dropping your name, first and last, your email. Why do we need your name? Because Stagefront needs to contact you to send those beautiful tickets. What do you need your email? So they can send you an email copy of those tickets. And why do you need your number? So they can call you to say, winner, winner, chicken dinner. And all we want from you is to make a prediction on who you think is going to win. Is it Estrada or Chocolatito? Easy peasy, lemon greasy. And you don't got to do nothing. There's no money involved, nothing at all. Save your money for when you get to Arizona. You can have a great time. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? But the fight just finished with Joshua Garcia and Christian Lorenzo. Shout out to Lorenzo for the tough fight. 130-pound guy. I mean, obviously a journeyman with three wins, three losses, and one draw. But looking to turn it around. You know, it's still early for him. For all you know, you know, five years from now, he could be Tevin Farmer with those same three, four losses and turned it around. So, now they're giving us the highlights. You know, Joshua Garcia has a very solid one, two, three, a nice, strong left hook, but he's got to tighten up on the defense. You know, he's still got some developing to do. He's still a young kid. You can see it in his face. And, um, yeah, it, it's really the defense for me. He's got to got to learn to get in and out of danger uh, without getting hurt the way that he's been getting hurt. Now, Garcia did look decent, though. Nice power demonstrated with that left hand and that right hand. And he did show dog. You know, when uh, Lorenzo bit down and kept coming forward, Garcia answered back with fire. You know, so we'll see. We're just awaiting the decision now. The official scores will see what it is that the judges saw.
We are watching. Uh, we are watching the zone for those that don't know. And right now we're awaiting the official decision. Let's see what do we got here. Let's see what we got. El Americano Joshua Garcia improves his record to 6-0 with three KOs. He gets the unanimous decision over Christian Lorenzo. Hard-nosed Lorenzo. So tomorrow, Tito Mercado, I think Saturday, Tito Mercado is going to be taking on Jason Velez. And... Uh, that's one that I'm interested in. That is a fight I'm interested in. So definitely you should be tuning in to our betting show tomorrow morning right here on YouTube members live at 8.30 a.m. So you can get some betting advice and know who you should be placing your money on this weekend. A lot of people think there's no bets to make, but that is not true. Even today, you could have made money on Schofield. Just have to know how to. So join us on Friday so we can explain that and help you find ways to make money weekly. Looks like Broadway Boxing is going to return to the Big Apple at the famed Edison Ballroom on the Thanksgiving weekend. Uh, Maquan Williams versus Mikel excuse me, Les Pierre, last known for losing to Maurice Hooker. And Stefan Big Shot Shaw headlined the, the, the diner event. So they're, they're, they're going to be doing their thing back. It looks like Lou DeBella is bringing that series back. Um, Stefan Big Shot Shaw is actually co-promoted with DeBella and Top Rank, and he'll be featured on the co-main event on his march towards a world title. So, Lou keeping him busy because, you know, looks like Top Rank didn't find anywhere to put him on TV, and he's keeping him busy. Looks like Robisi Ramirez gets a new opponent as well. Jose Matias Romero is confirmed. And now Robisi Ramirez will be on the undercard of Lomachenko and Jermaine Ortiz. Um, Jose Matias Romero last losing to Michelle Rivera in a split round in a, in a unanimous decision, and he also lost to Isaac Cruz in a twelve round unanimous decision. Those are his only two losses. And those are two good up-and-coming prospects slash contenders, truly. Prospects, uh, probably a bit of a disrespect for Isaac Cruz, who's been in there with Tank and blasted out Gamboa. And, you know, same could be said for Michelle, who's been waiting on an opportunity to get in there with Tank Davis. <coughs> But for those just tuning in, we are watching the Golden Boy on the zone card. Right now, we are in intermission as we're going in between bouts. They're giving us shoulder content. I have no clue who this Hispanic woman is in front of us. It looks like uh, the Cecilia Gonzalez, Oscar De La Cruz uh, Center for Cancer. I did read in a press release that Oscar will be given a million dollars towards cancer research. He's going to be presenting a check. I believe it's tomorrow, truth be told. Um, so this must be what they're doing is talking about that now. We got two shows scheduled for you tomorrow. We're going to be talking... Devin Haney at 12 o'clock and the fact that he is saying 
Loma's next, and then Shakur. So is Haney really staying at 135? And we'll be talking in the morning the fact that it's been revealed that the uh, stalling is allegedly coming from Team Crawford for the Earl Spence and Terrence Bud Crawford fight. Uh, now, we still are waiting for Golden Boy and Zone to move on. They are doing right now, uh, you know, the Cecilia Gomez and De La Hoya Cancer Center. Oscar is scheduled to give about a million dollars pretty soon. Sorry for the dead air as I got to address this email. And uh, looks like we're back. We got a picture of Beto Duran here and Bernard Hopkins. Bernard looking uh, ageless, right? He's been doing this for so many years in and out the ring, you know, doing his thing. You got to wonder, did Bernard have any hand in signing the young Schofield to Golden Boy? So we're just waiting, man. Let me go through my chat, see what's going on, and check any super chats because they got us waiting. They got us waiting. Yeah, man. I mean, look, it's a Thursday night fantasy springs card. Shout out to Schofield. He doesn't normally, you know, people of this level don't normally get that where we're doing, you know, live fight chats on a Thursday, but I'm in the West Coast now. It's only 725 now. I'm going to watch him fight. Might as well do it with you guys, man. Let me see just exactly who's rocking out with me. You know what I'm saying? Who ain't leave me flat? Speaking of leaving me flat, I need some donations. Um, me and Danny are officially going to the WBC convention. We leave November 5th. And in order to get there, we're definitely going to need some assistance from the TBV community. So I've put out a post on Patreon and YouTube members asking for your guys' help. And I'm telling you verbally, if you can afford to help, uh, you know, we would appreciate any sort of cash app or PayPal me that you uh, feel you can part with. You know, I don't want anybody going broke and I don't want anybody, you know, breaking the bank or uh, getting in trouble. But if you guys can help. We would appreciate it. Now, I would just say for those that don't know, um, please look up all the stuff that we did, that I did at the last convention that I attended, and just know that we'll bring you double that because this time it'll be myself and Danny. And Danny, as we all know, is uh, just as knowledgeable as me. So we'll be bringing you guys you know, some really good content. But we do need your assistance to get there. You know, it's funny because I hit somebody up and I'm like, look, man, we're looking to get sponsored for, you know, this particular situation. And uh, I uh, was met with a message that was like, wait, didn't you just get signed or something? And I'm like, yeah, you know, that did happen, unfortunately. <laughs> Uh, you know, three months into that deal, the amazing person that um, offered us that deal passed away. So, you know, we're back fighting and uh, looking uh, to, to make it to the next level. And we're back to doing it on our own. So because of that, we're just, you know, hoping that maybe some of the people in our audience can uh, help out so that we can both get to the WBC convention. Look, it, it's it's not easy. I mean, it, we should be recording it too. It's going to be a movie because we got to fly from Tijuana because of how expensive everything is because it's last minute. I mean, it's literally less than two weeks out uh, for the convention. So, you know, we're trying and uh you know we're appreciative to everybody that is helping out and that is trying to you know make sure 
that uh, we do get there. So now we have a female walkout. Female walkout. Listen, guys, can you believe all this time, all the drums I've been beating, Shadeja Green is getting a fight. She's going to be on the Jake Paul undercard. God is so good because we're scheduled to be there. So she's going to be on the Jake Paul undercard. MVP Promotions looks like they're interested in her. Check this out. Check this out. Let me just show you guys this. I'm so happy for her, man. People don't understand, bro. People don't understand. I'm like, I'm, I'm, I'm so happy for her. So this is her. Let's fucking go. So excited for her, man. So excited for her. This is our Instagram. If you ain't following us on Instagram, you really need to be because it's going down in our comments every day. More verified fighters debating over what it is that we're debating right here on TVV. So we definitely making waves. And if you want to make one of our, you know, viral reels, you probably need to be calling in and doing your thing. So it looks like we're going to have a female fight right now. Um, let me pull up my bout sheet and tell you what division this particular female card is going to be. They no longer have Sinisa Estrada, so I'm assuming this may be the Marlon Esparza weight. And, uh, okay, this is Anibal Ortiz and Maria Santizo and it's 108 108 so okay very small fighters but they are in the ring referees in the ring so soon enough we uh will get this party on the road And just waiting, like we're saying, both fighters are in the ring at the moment, uh, waiting on the particulars. Anibal Ortiz, 32 and 5, with only four KOs from Mexico City, takes a huge exhale and. Uh, is introduced to her public and obviously the a side is going to be in the blue corner and it looks like both females are in the center of the ring we're about to get a glove touch and we can start this affair They're still stretching. Can you believe it? All right. And now we have a fight. It is the first round timestamp already. 153 in a two minute round. So they've already lost time. And uh, Santizo is in the black and pink looks taller longer and even faster but i'm not a fan of the way she jabs and tries to pull out of danger it's almost as if she's fearful of getting hit she's thinking more of retreating than landing the punch so i'm a hundred percent sure she has nothing on those punches look she's jabbing but stepping backwards, bro. She doesn't really want to. Hopefully, she just got to get loose. Whoa. All right. Well, that loose she's getting because she's starting to let her hands go. Uh, getting wider and, and, and definitely missing big. 
and Maria Ortiz just not wasting any energy conserving uh, those those 30-something fights she has. Her experience is showing up, you know, because Santizo is uh, not doing much effective offense, even though she just landed a slapping left hook and was able to pivot out the way. But, uh, man, I have to go back and look at my... <laughs> My bout sheet, bro. How? Maria Santis. Oh, my God. I can't believe she's 10 and 1 and 6. She's not fighting like a 10-fight fighter. No, not at all. Not at all. She's she's fighting too timid and nervous for me. Um, counter punches are coming up super short. Punches are slappy. But decent footwork. Decent footwork. Willing to exchange. Accuracy is trash, though. Good parry there by Santiso. Rounds over. So, I mean, Jesus. Uh, Santiso was not effective. And I don't know, you know, Maria, like, she was just sitting waiting. Like, she did throw whenever she was in range. But, like, I don't even know if she was effective because the wilder Santiso kind of mesmerized me and my eyes were drawn to her because of her weird jab and pull back i don't know what the hell she was doing but we are watching the zone for those that don't know the link in the description if you want uh if you want to get the zone if you don't already have it should have had it but if you don't, you can. And we're in the second round. Female boxing. Right now, live on the zone. And Santiso uh, is very wild. Look at that left hook. Uh, she's got potential. Someone needs to work with her a little bit more. She's got potential. You know? You can see the spunk in her, but Jesus, the accuracy is, is just like the technique is not there. But she's she loves that one, two, three. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Maria might get a body right now. Maria's walking her down. Thing is, Maria's only got like four pump, pump, knockouts. But she seems to be the heavier puncher for sure. That's crazy. You know Maria didn't train for this fight. I'm sorry. I ain't even trying to be disrespectful. But she ain't trained for this fight. Ain't no way she trained for this fight. But truth be told, she's not overexerted. Her mouth is not open, and she's countering the shit out of this girl. This might be her round for sure. She been landing that straight right all day. And good body shot right there. She tried to bring her body. Uh, from the bottom to the top. And look, you see, unlike Santi, so she stays in the fire because she wants to counter. So she's not timid or afraid of the incoming blows. Santiso is just not accurate enough for me, man. She looks very... <sighs> yeah, man. Oof! Good right hand by Maria. Oof! Ortiz with another club in right. Damn! Ortiz about to get this girl out of here, maybe. Uh-oh. Santiso's coming apart. And that is the end of the second round. After this, we definitely have our main event, fellas. Ladies and gents. So, you know. We're just waiting on that. Let me see what was going on in our live chat. Sarcasm, $5 Super Chat says, appreciate your hustleness. Man, I appreciate you being here because, bro, I was going to watch these fights anyway, man. Now you just gave me somebody to watch them with because, like, my son wasn't going to watch this shit. My girl definitely was not going to watch this, so I needed y'all. I got high and low Sports Centrum that says, $2 Super Chat, the boxing voice is more. Appreciate you, man. Appreciate you. So thank you to my three super chatters, D Styles, High and Low, and Sarcasm, man. We appreciate you rocking out with us. 
J Sprays, what up? Moolah Moolah, what up? Uh oh. Looks like Santizo's trying to come with some fire this round, but oh my god, did you just see that one two she missed? And, and, and just the way that she throws these punches, there's no accuracy here. There's no technique. Except for the left hook to the body. I won't front. She's been placing that shit pretty well. That's about the only punch she turns over right. Like, she's literally landing with the knuckles when she throws that one. But everything else is crazy. Look, the left hook upstairs, never it, it never works. She, she ends up like this. It's so strange. Her jab is insane. I don't understand what's what's been going on right here. Like, what are they doing with this poor girl? Oh my God, look at that right hand she just threw. She's crazy. She's trying to get bodied. I'm telling you right now. She, she can't be throwing these type of shots that wide. But it is women boxing, right? So she might not get countered and stopped. Her jab is trash. I don't know. Is Maria slowing down? I, you know, I didn't want to say it, but I'm gonna say it. I said, I, I said, there's no way that Maria trained because she's just too top heavy. She didn't lose any weight in her breast, bro. Them shit's huge as hell right now. So I, I, I don't, I, you know, I want to assume she's not in shape because of that. You know what I'm saying? Like, if Clarissa loses her fucking ass when she goes to camp, um, this girl should have been a little less heavy up top. But even with that being said, she's super active. And look at that fucking uh, one, two. I guess you could call that a three. It was wider than a motherfucker. But I'm sure she wanted to do one, two, one. And, and, and it doesn't help that Santiso is just not accurate, bro. Kid Schofield working with Ronnie Shields. I talked to Ronnie. He told me he'd been working. This is going to be his fourth fight with Schofield. They've been working on the low. Is that crazy or what? Y'all not going to talk about Wilder's flop? Yo, my man, we're going we gonna to get rid of you because that number that you said, we know where you got it from. And, and you know, that dude is not even a reporter. Like, you know, if you if you listening to him, we don't need you as a listener over here, bro. I'm sorry. And, you know, I'm not trying to be mean, but, like, you know. You know, you know where you got that from, and you know that that dude's a troll. So if you came over here, you're a troll. We don't really need you here, man. We're, we're here to talk boxing. You see, we're on a Thursday night watching a Schofield fight. This is a real boxing channel. We don't tolerate bullshit trolls. We're in the fourth round. Santizo throwing more bombs wide wide shots and uh you know ortiz having a lot of success with that left hand jab man she's she's able to come straight down the middle with that jab to set up her right hand a lot um moolah i i, I you know you can if again if clarissa tells you herself out her mouth that she loses her ass why can't you lose weight in your breast are you kidding me um fat is fat bro you know what i'm saying and you can't target fat on a specific part of the body. Like, if you want to lose your stomach, you got to run. If you're going to lose them titties, you got to run. You know what I'm saying? Them shits. But, again, I, I was wrong. I, I, I could be overstepping because she hasn't slowed down a bit. And I'm not shocked um, when she gets this win. I'm not even saying if. I think she's up on the scorecards, honestly. Oh, shit. I think she's up on the scorecards, and uh, there shouldn't even be a debate, honestly. I, I don't see what Santizo could be doing in the eyes of the judges other than, you know, moving. Uh, the punches she's throwing, they're just not landing. Very Look, look, she's about to fall herself from a fucking left hook. I don't know. Uh-oh, we had a headbutt. Okay, and now I'm looking... Maria's definitely the one that's going to win. She's the one with the golden boy patch. Let me see his other girl has a golden boy patch. Uh, nope. Nope. Yeah. So Maria. Okay. She's, she's the golden boy fighter.
so crazy how Golden Boy decides who they're going to pick up. They just signed the Puerto Rican girl, too, you know? And I'm just like, damn, I'm, I'm, I'm like, damn, top rank didn't sign that girl, man. You know what I mean? It's crazy. Steven Rodriguez, what up, champ? What it do? 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 Yeah, man. So, 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 uh, Top Rank did not sign that that Puerto Rican uh, female. Her name is Kira Tapia, and um, they're tripping. You know what I'm saying? They letting Golden Boy get her. So I hope Golden Boy can develop her properly. But they don't know how to cater to anything other than Mexicans. That they got to deal with Fantasy Springs. That's like California. That's Mexico City and shit. It's like they don't know how to bring people to Madison Square. They don't got to deal with anybody in New York. That deal Madison Square has with, with Top Rank doesn't allow Golden Boy to do fights there. So they can't even develop a Puerto Rican. They're going to have to go like to Puerto Rico, and they're not invested in that. And that's why he's he picked up Maria. You know, it is what it is. But this is Kira, for those that don't know. Remember, Ness put you on. This is her. Puerto Rican, ready to rock and roll. Ready to do her thing. Reminds me of Ava Knight a little bit. You know what I'm saying? She got the Ava Knight, Sinisa Estrada look going on. Pure, pure Puerto Rican, you see? I, 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 I don't know why she ain't got no fucking pad work. Like, can we get a little... Here we go, some bag work. Let's give you a like. That's some bad work. She in Puerto Rico getting it in. You know that's a Puerto Rico gym. Look at it. So, yeah, man. Uh, she's with Golden Boy now, so we'll see what they can do with her. Hopefully they do something. Yeah, man, this is, uh, again, there you go. Beautifully placed left hook by Santizo. That's her best punch, man. That's her best punch. Crazy. Because it's, it, it's almost insane that she can throw it properly to the stomach, but once she tries to bring it upstairs, it, it just comes apart. Look, you see how wide she got and got countered with a two-piece. She doesn't know how to bring that left hook upstairs without turning into a complete novice. What up, what up, V the Geek? The chat, the fight is on the zone. So you need the zone. If you don't have it, the link is in the description. So, you know, I can show you how to do that with a quick screen share. So this is what it looks like if you're watching me, and then you just go here to show more. And actually, we don't have the link in the description anymore. We took that out. <laughs> but I'll find it for you and put it in the live chat. How about that? Here I am all this time telling y'all it's in the description. Jeez, Louise. But uh, let's see. We got it around here somewhere for you. Here we go. Who wants the zone? Who needs the zone? I got the link. I got the link for those that need the zone. We're about to go into round five, I believe, of this female fight it's going it's scheduled for eight rounds and maria lopez remaining calm and uh showing her experience oof that jab bro she's she's even able to counter with the jab look she step backs counters with the jab it's crazy it's so funny like why is she not trying why is she not trying uh to counter with that right she loving that counter left she's got a good jab though Ortiz does it's a long jab I wonder what's her uh, reach Uh oh. Santiso finally landed a shot. But jeez. Ortiz is a dog. 
Hit it with a crazy uppercut. Six round, 44 seconds left, 42, 41 on the time clock. If you're following along with us, if you're rocking out and watching some boxing with us. Yes, sir. If you're on uh, YouTube, don't forget to hit that thumbs up, bro. Help us out. Make sure that the algorithm knows that you're watching this. Make sure that they are notified by you that we are live every day. And that's why you're hitting that thumbs up every day. All right. So have you hitting that thumbs up? Have you hit that thumbs up? Have you shared this show? We're watching the zone right now. And it looks like they're giving us a Well, we were getting a quick uh Highlight. Now we got a frozen signal or what? What's going on? What's going on? Why are they showing me the screen? What the hell? Sky! Sky! All right, we're in round seven. Damn. And Ortiz's jab getting better. Sorry for the dead air as I'm doing multiple things. But Ortiz is definitely uh, looking good with the head, head movement. She's using lateral movement and countering with that jab. Or let's just say left hand, right? Because even though she's very jab dominant, every now and then she throws the right and also mixes in a left hook. But her favorite punch seems to be that jab. Hey! Yep, her favorite punch seems to be that jab. And she's really able to set things up off of it. I ain't on the front. Not in the traditional sense, because technically this is pretty weird. But out of the two, she's, she's you know, she's technically a better fighter. Mechanically a better Oh, they better not call that a knockdown. Good, good on the ref. Good on the ref. Almost, he almost messed up. Good on the ref. That was not a knockdown. That was, in fact, a slip. And we're watching Golden Boy on the zone right now. Golden Boy on the zone. And uh, that is the end of the round. That is the end of the round. Maria Ortiz makes it back to the corner and still no overexertion. She doesn't look exhausted, so I definitely spoke um, wrong. She must be in great shape. She looks that way. But I do want to remind everybody that we are doing an absolutely free giveaway. All you got to do is head over to stagefrontvip.com forward slash Boxing Voice, B-O-X-I-N-G, V-O-I-C-E. And you can have an opportunity to win two VIP experiences for the Estrada Chocolatito 3 fight. The package includes, obviously, ringside or floor seats. You get to watch all the fights. You get to be a part of our live show from the arena. 
and you get to meet Eddie Hearn, plus you get signed merchandise, VIP weigh-in access. Winners are announced November 22nd, so make sure you're tuned in so you know who is the winner. What up, Bob Saget? What up, what up, what up? Ah, I'm smoking on Flavor Pack. Smoking on that flavor pack, baby. It's pretty decent, too, because I'm not, like, burning down on it. It's like I'm smoking it, and then I just chill for a bit. Mm. Combination, by Ortiz, as Santiso pulls back and complains they're about a behind the head shot. What up, what up, what up, Pearly? Or Pearl, what is it, Prill? Prill? What up? Danny's not here, but I'll take the salute for him. Fight night on the zone out of Fantasy Springs. Golden boy on the zone. Female action in the ring. Last round, 35 seconds left on the clock. And we should have a pretty... Even wow, beautiful counter. That jab is like a fucking battering ram. You know, she she counters with the jab as if it's it's, it's probably is her strong hand. You know, they probably turned her uh, orthodox so that she could have that power up front. So, yeah, man, decent little scrap. Could have been better. Could have been better. But what are you gonna do? They embrace at the end. It's over. Now we have to wait the particulars from the judges to get that decision and see who got the win. Michello. That's the nickname on the waistband or someone's name on her waistband. And that is obviously not of Ortiz, but in fact of Santizo. So, after this, we should get that Floyd Schofield fight. We'll get to see how that ring walk looks. You know, any pyro, any fireworks. What do they got? So, that's going to be interesting to see what, you know, Schofield works out for his big first main event Done. Just got a pretty decent email. Always good to get those. And we still have both females in the ring while we're waiting for the decision. Uh, my winner is Maria uh, Ortiz. We'll see that the judges see it the same way. Judges are Raul Caicinha, Pat Russell, and Fernando Villarreal. We'll see. Oh, look. Look, that guy on the left with the long hair, that's the same promoter or manager that had the other female that lost to McCaskill when I told you guys bet the knockout on McCaskill. So he's got a lot of female fighters. And by a lot, I mean two. (laughs) But that's more than most. Tell you that right now. More than most. And Ortiz gets the win and moves on and continues to do her thing and proves her record into a 33-5 with four KOs. So, 
that fight is over. And we can now move on to our main event with Kid Austin Floyd Schofield. Wow, we only got 70 people live. That's crazy. Um, that's because of this fight. You know, it's not a everybody gonna tune in fight. What network, J. Rhodes? It's on the zone. Thursday night's on the zone, man. 125 punches landed for Anibel Ortiz. Oh, I had their names mixed up. I was calling it's Maria Santiso. Annabelle Ortiz, obviously, who I was calling Maria Ortiz, but it is what it is. And, uh, yeah, damn, Annabelle Ortiz threw almost 408 punches. Jesus. So, she deserved to get the win, and she got it because of that activity. And they're interviewing Oscar now. What, are, what could they be saying? Are they going to be talking about the tank fight? Nope. They're talking about the cancer and the donations that he's making for cancer research. Salute to you, Ness. Huge boxing fan, and I watch your podcast every morning. Oh, well, I appreciate it, brother. I appreciate it, man. Thank you for rocking out with us um, this fine evening. Appreciate you, and uh, yeah, man, we're 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 making that trip to uh, the WBC convention in about two weeks. So we are looking for our loyal listeners and supporters to help us in that endeavor. We actually have a lot planned. We got open invites to Jared Anderson's camp, so we can bring you that footage. We got open invites to the Jerron Ennis camp, who just confirmed he started camp so we could bring you that footage. Um, we just need a bit of assistance because that is a multitude of trips, you know, and that costs. And we have to bring the equipment so that we can keep bringing you the podcast every day versus, you know, missing shows and not giving the public what it is they want. But... They're still interviewing Oscar De La Hoya. And we are just waiting. So I got David Miggs. What up? Isaac, what up? Rafael Alvarez, what up? Grizz, what up? Yeah, man, this is strange to just sit around waiting for this craziness. Well, well, well. We just sit around waiting now, man. This old... Hey, they're giving us the Oscar De La Hoya love right now. We're getting to see the old champ. What up, Dana? What's going on? Schofield versus Keyshawn, 2024. I got Schofield, KO and 2, Muzzle TV. Yeah, Muzzle, you, you better put more years on that because... They, they on opposite sides of the track. Don't get me wrong. Every now and then, Bob and Oscar do do some business. Not that I truly remember the last time, but, uh, yeah. I doubt that happens. 
And the way they move in Keyshawn, I don't know. I mean, granted, Schofield got, he getting the main event. But this, like, Fantasy Springs, you know what I'm saying? This is like Showbox, something like that. So, you know, main event in Showbox and main event in the headline is totally different. You know? Uh-oh, we got I'm a honey. What up? What up? We got Jody High Roller. What up? Jose Molina. What up? What's going on? What's going on? Have you hit that thumbs up? Don't forget to hit that thumbs up and hit that thumbs up and share the show. We appreciate it, man. So Hopefully they get us the next fight here in just a bit. That's all we're waiting for is our main event. Kid Austin, Floyd Schofield. Steven Rodriguez, what up? Is you saying peace, you out, or you saying peace, what up? I don't know. So now we're getting the promo, Golden Boy. T Bonafide, what up? Mm. Wait, is T Bonafide T in Toronto? Let me know, T. Let me know. Is T Bonafide T in Toronto? So Kid Austin in the back warming up with world-renowned trainer Ronnie Shields. So we'll get to see what Kid Austin has and what he's bringing to the table. Bernard Hopkins and Berto Asuna now. I'm smoking on that flavor pack, Jose Molina. Oh, he says, nah, I'm from Louisiana, T. Bonafide. Okay, I thought you was T in Toronto, and you just had a different screen name. I feel you, though. Shout out, salute. So they're showing highlights now of Austin putting in work in his last fight. Where he's got what looks like a fourth round stoppage. Hey man, it's like I said, I was going to watch these fights anyway, but salute to Canna that says he respects the hustle. Uh, man, you know, you know me and you are like, okay, so Kid Austin coming out with the paint. I always, I always fuck with a dude the garage paint. You feel me? And he got, he got uh, Davies Entertainment with him. So Davies is still part of the team. And I don't know this rapper. See, this is when we need the guys like Danny to tell us who's this guy with all his jewelry on on the left. Can y'all tell me? Can y'all tell me?
Hey, Wiz, man. Nah, I ain't taking hardcore to another level. I'm just saying, I don't know. The kid made an impression on me, you know what I mean? What what him and his father did with the Devin Haney situation and, you know, and how they, they, they was being sought after and they allegedly ended up on Golden Boy because they think they made the better decision. I'm I'm locked in. I want to see. I want to see the rise of Kid Austin. You know what I'm saying? Okay. He FaceTime and right before he come out. I mean, the entourage ain't big. You know, Fury got a gang of Spartans with him, so the entourage ain't that big. He looking all right. Yeah, man. So they're showing us the rise of Schofield as a young amateur, young kid, showing us all the older videos and pictures. And uh, yeah, it, it reminds me of that Devin Haney story, you know, father son duo going through all these amateur tournaments, making a name for themselves. And that's what I'm saying, man. I'm 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 locked in, so. You know, I didn't. I didn't. What did he say, Canna? I seen. I seen he was with the spit bucket, but I didn't get an opportunity to see what he said. I didn't get an opportunity to see what he said. So yeah, man, tell me. What? This gotta be fake. <clears throat> this gotta be some sort of a joke. What the fuck is going on? Bruh, tomorrow morning about to be so lit. Jesus, the breaking news is insane right now. This is crazy. I mean, look, we've been here before, man. We grown-ups, man. We've been here before, man. Where every time you think a fight gonna happen, it don't never happen, man. This is crazy. Canna, did you see the pre-pro? Uh-oh, uh-oh, they had to bring up Dev. They brought up Dev and Schofield sparring. But Schofield looks strong than a motherfucker genetically. Like, he is... He looked big like Tank, right? And let me see what Canna said. Dip said, uh, Schofield calling Keyshawn out. Says Keyshawn won't go three rounds but all... I mean, they know what to do. They calling somebody out from a whole different promotion, man. Shit don't make no sense. What you gonna do that for? What you gonna do that for? But yeah, we finally about to get in the ring with these two guys, man. We got the teller the tape. Schofield's only 20 years old, so... Devin Haney, three years older than him and everybody else, basically, at that 135-pound division uh, older than him. This is the money division, 135. This is Tank, Devin, and now Shakur. Yeah, man, this shit is crazy. Just crazy, man. Wow. Well, 
I'm going to camp. That's all. I don't even care. On to the next one. On to the next one. You know what I mean? Well, Daniel Rojas coming into the ring. Damn, that's crazy. Eight figures? What the fuck? Holy shit. Well, well, well. Interesting, man. Boxing has a way to turn things. Don't worry. We ain't miss anything. Schofield hasn't even made it to the ring yet. But um, tomorrow's show is going to be crazy. Tomorrow morning, we have a crazy show. This is... Uh, this is some interesting stuff that just broke. Yes, it is. Well, we have everybody in the ring, and they're still not ready to announce this fight. Yeah, he is moving like a superstar, but that's how you attract the attention, man. If you don't love yourself, who's going to love you? And you got to start this early, especially when you're already talking about the likes of Keyshawn and, you know, you know, Devin. You know, you're trying to, I don't know. You're trying to uh, fast track. Crazy. Tomorrow is going to be so crazy. Damn, so who going to Omaha? I'm going to Omaha. I, I got to ask Bud if I'm allowed out there. I ain't trying to go and get... Into nothing, but I'm going home. <laughs> Yo, that's crazy. Late night, the news be breaking. Right now, it's eleven o'clock on the East Coast, man, and this the time that that news broke. That's crazy. That's crazy. So now, yo. Man, I wish it's already tomorrow just so we could get to talking, man. Sorry for the dead air. Getting mega texts as everybody. Everybody can tell what's going on. Um... <laughs> Jay Spades, I'm Jay Spades. I'm with you. Those same questions, bro. I'm not saying nothing to the mall, man. That's my morning show. I'm sorry. Right now it's Kid Austin, Floyd Schofield's night. We'll get to those other guys in the morning, man. Cause it's been the same saga with them. Remember that Rojas is tough. Rojas only lost by decision to Isaac and to Michelle Rivera. So Schofield here to make a statement. 11 and 0, 9 KOs. Kid Austin from Austin, Texas.
What channel? We're watching live on the zone. Live on the zone. Let me give you the link here. See if we still got it there. Yep, there you go. Just click that link and you'll be able to get yourself some the zone. Old school boxing. We watching the zone. Kid Austin in the ring, ready to do his thing, facing a common opponent with Michelle. Ali Rivera and with Isaac Pitbull Cruz. Both men have been in the ring with Daniel Rojas. Both men were able to defeat Daniel Rojas. Neither man can stop him. Let's see what Kid Austin can do. Does he have the power? Does he have the power to get a stoppage? And the first round, bell is rung. They meet in the center. And Austin starts off with the jab. Daniel throws his own jab. Austin doubles. And just loosening up. Bouncing on the toes. Looks very big for this division. And he's walking uh, Rojas down. And he's, he's taking shots to the body. Oh, big right hand upstairs. As Rojas try to get out of danger. Austin putting it in to the body for sure. And... Uh, Rojas going rope to rope. So it looks like Austin can punch because Rojas hasn't thrown a punch back. Austin might be going for the first round KO. I mean, there's not a... It was a push down. They're not calling that a knockdown. And I, I hope Austin doesn't punch himself out. Rojas with the bad boy tattoo and the bad boy on the... Waistband hasn't shown us much of a bad boy other than being able to keep his hands up. Schofield punching with power. Second warning from the ref that Schofield's punching behind the head, but it is Rojas who continues to bend over trying to avoid these shots. Schofield, no need to use a jab as Rojas isn't doing anything at all. This is crazy. Oh, left. Oh, yes, he's over. First round knockout. They stopped it. It's over. And Rojas is trying to get up, but he just can't. He fell over again. Yeah, he's gone. He's gone. I almost thought it was too soon. Austin has real power. I almost thought it was too soon, but then you can tell he doesn't know what the fuck's going on. Look, look. Damn. That was quick. First round KO was a plus 400. Look at that shit. That's strange. Uh, Isaac Pitbull Cruz didn't knock this guy out. He went 12 rounds. Michelle Rivera went 12 rounds. Um, I'm just shocked because he didn't do anything. Like, it's just as if he was afraid. You know, he was a, immediately in defensive mode. Floyd Schofield towering over his own father. So he is a big boy. Calm down, Floyd. Just let them let them unloosen the gloves properly, man. Well, Floyd picks up the win. No way, really. What? Yeah, man. Isaac could pick Bull. Didn't knock this guy out, and neither did Michelle Rivera Ali. Schofield somehow knocked this guy out. Now, I mean, he threw a punch. Yeah, he threw a punch. Look, they just showed him throwing a triple jab right there, but. Once Schofield put the pressure on him and started landing body shots, yeah, no, he, he kept his hands up, man. It was a lot coming out, but, but Schofield looks big. He looks big, bro. Hopefully Golden Boy can do what they need to do with this guy, you know? Because this is what? Fantasy Springs is in, L in L.A., you know? Is he going to be able to pick up some fans here? Nonetheless, the fight was so short, they're actually showing the entire fight again. And he's decent, you know, I mean, for the opposition. And again, you got to consider that, that, 
you know, Isaac and Michelle didn't do this. So, Schofield is, uh, is different. Straight right. He's just stalking now. It's this left hook. Wow. Short. Short left, too. It wasn't even fully extended. My man tried to get up and did a cartwheel. Yeah, man. Well, I'm going to go ahead and end this live as uh, we know who got the win because it was by knockout. So no need for judges. And that's the beauty. That is truly the beauty. No need for judges when you do what Kid Austin did. And it's not a big entourage when you look at it. You know? I don't see any young people there. Shout out to Austin. Got the win. Did his thing. Well, uh, we're going to go ahead and end it, man. Uh, that is it. That is it. And that's GTO, Instagram, and Twitter. Catch me tomorrow morning at... 6 a.m. We'll be back with a big, big breaking news show. Tomorrow is going to be crazy. Tune in. We're going to have Discord. We're going to have Blog Talk. We're going to be taking your calls. We're going to want to hear what you got to say. Peace.